we're gonna go to our first stretch, which is the hip flexor. A couple quick coaching tips. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my foot on the plate. I'm gonna bend that back knee. I'm gonna drop down. I'm gonna do a little pelvic tilt. Squeeze the bum and add the arm. Okay, so when we're in position, you're gonna reach back, hit start. Again, toe on the plate, drop the knee, squeeze the glute, reach and hold. Once that time runs out, go ahead and hit repeat, switch legs. Okay, we just got done with the hip flexor. We're gonna move on to the hamstring. So go ahead and put your right leg on the plate. A couple coaching tips. Chest up, leg straight. Keep the toe flexed. So go ahead and hit repeat. We're keeping the same settings. Chest up and bow into it. So you should feel a nice, comfortable stretch behind that right knee. Hold that for 30 seconds. When the time runs out, switch legs and hit repeat. just got done with the hips and the hamstrings. Now we're gonna go into the pigeon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the pad, put it on the plate. We're gonna get into the downward position. So we're gonna make sure our bum's on the plate, wherever you're comfortable, and then slowly rotate into the neck. Now you're gonna feel this into the hip area, into that glute. So what you wanna do is really get into a nice, comfortable stretch. So you're in position. What do you do with your hands? but we want to keep them off the plate because we want to minimize the transfer of vibration into the head. So that's why we're going to actually reach up for the handles. This is also going to help us with the stretch. We're going to keep the chest up, reach up, and you're going to help pull yourself into the neck of the plate. This is really going to help with the vibration, right to localize that into the hip. And the best thing about this position, you already have the quick start here. So you're just going to hit repeat, chest up and lean into it. Nice, comfortable stretch. And when that duration ends, we're gonna go ahead and switch legs and hit repeat. Okay, three stretches down are all of our lower body. We're now moving on to our last stretch which is for the upper body. So it's for the lats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kneel down in front of the plate. I'm gonna keep my arms straight. Not gonna put the head on the plate, it's not very good. Keep the arms straight, you're gonna sit back into the heels, nice comfortable stretch, and then you're gonna drop your head in between your arms. So once you get into that position, you feel comfortable, I want you to come on up, hit repeat, and here you go. We're moving on to balance. Our first balance exercise is single leg balance. So I'm gonna step onto the plate, using my right leg, I'm gonna sink down as deep and as comfortable as I can get into. Once I'm in position, I'm just gonna hit the repeat button and then I'm gonna pull away my hands. So I'm gonna stabilize, chest up, nice comfortable hold. Now once that's done, I'm gonna switch legs, hit repeat, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. We just got done with our single leg balance. Now we're gonna move on to a Roman deadlift. It's a very difficult move, but I think you can do it. So I'm gonna step onto the plate, and with my right arm, my right leg, I'm just gonna help stabilize. Now with my left arm and left leg, I'm gonna do a nice full reach. And when I have that position, I'm gonna hit repeat, and I'm gonna hold. Now what I wanna do is keep everything straight and parallel to the ground. I don't want to open up what your body's going to want to do. Nice full stretch and you're really going to feel it in the hip area. This exercise is called the glute bridge. So I'm going to pull an aerobic deck over to the plate. I'm going to sit right up against it. Now my two key coaching tips are I want to keep the toes flexed and I want to drive the heels into the plate. So I'm just going to demonstrate before we get started. We get close, flex the toes, drive the heels, and I'm going to bring the hips all the way up as high as I possibly can. I'm really going to focus on squeezing the glutes. I'm going to add the arms just to increase a little bit of the intensity. 
and I'm gonna hold that. So when I'm ready for that movement, I'm go ahead and hit repeat, rotate, and in position I go. This exercise is called the V-sit. So while I have the deck here, I'm gonna rotate on the plate, I'm gonna elevate my feet on the deck, I'm gonna lean back slightly. It's just a great core exercise. A couple coaching tips. One, keep my chest up the whole time. And two is I'm just going to lower my feet just a little bit so I have really the intensity that I need. Now you can lean back as much as you want to really feel like if you wanna challenge that movement throughout. So you're just gonna get into a comfortable position, keep the chest up, and we're gonna hold that right there for the duration of the exercise. So once you're in position, reach back, hit repeat, chest up, lean back, and hold. Now we move on to the strength element. The first exercise is the split squat. So I'm gonna put my right foot on the plate, I'll put my left foot on the deck, I'm gonna square off towards the console, and all I'm gonna do is get a 90 degrees with my front knee and 90 degrees with my back knee. So I'm gonna get it into position, help stabilize myself. And once I have it, I'm gonna hit start, hold that position, chest stays up, and we wanna hold that right there. Now when that time runs out, I'm gonna switch legs, get back into my upright position. I'm gonna hit repeat, and off I go. And again, I can move around a little bit, or I can do a nice, full, dynamic split squat. This is kneeling push-up. Now you're probably wondering yourself, kneeling, I'm stronger than that. But when it comes to the whole body vibration, in this exercise, we really wanna emphasize a bend in the elbow. So I'm gonna grab the pad from the plate I'm gonna put it here just to give me a little comfort underneath my knees. I'm gonna get into position. Now the key with this position is I just want you to get down as deep as you feel comfortable, okay? And that would be a comfortable hand position and comfortable elbow position. Now I want you to get into position. Now your movements are static. You do a little pulse. You can go up and down if you want a little fuller push-up, but you just have to be aware that anything where you come up a little bit higher is gonna transfer a little bit more of that vibration into your head. So you really wanna initially stay within just the static and the pulse, just to really focus on the chest and the tricep. So when you think you have it, hit repeat, get in position, push into the plate, nice elbow bend, and feel the burn. This is kneeling push-up. This is the squat. Get up on the power plate. Nice, wide, comfortable base. Chest up. I'm gonna sit down as deep as I feel I can comfortably go. Hold that position. I'm now gonna hit repeat. Plate is now on. I'm gonna hold that aesthetically initially, and then I can get into a small pulse just to make some modifications. I can go back to static. Now your legs are gonna burn, don't come out of this. Stay right there. You can even get down a little deeper if you can. Hold that. Wow, this is the squat. This is the standing row. So now we're gonna reach down, we're gonna use the cables during this exercise. So I'm gonna put one in each arm. Before I do that, I wanna make sure that I have the tension lever all the way in. So I'm gonna just adjust both sides. I'm gonna stagger my stance. Feel free to put any leg in front that you prefer. Chest stays up and start pulling. I'm gonna keep the elbows close to the body. Nice full range. And I wanna maintain my movement throughout the duration of the time. So if I think I'm ready to go, I'm gonna hit repeat, get in position, and begin. Chest up, nice comfortable movement and just keep pulling. Now if I want to intensify this, I can go a little faster if I like. It's gonna make me work a little bit harder. 
This is the standing row. This is the step up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with one leg on the plate for the duration of the exercise. So I'm gonna square up and all I'm gonna do is push up and then soft landing on the way back. Nice, consistent, fluid motion. I want all the weight to be on that top drive leg and that back leg is just helping support the landing. When that time runs out, we'll switch over, hit repeat. We're gonna get right back at it. Nice, consistent movement. Really working that top leg. This is the shoulder press. So before we begin, we wanna make sure that the lever arm are pulled all the way in. I'm gonna grab hold of cable in each handle. I'm gonna make sure that you get into a staggered position and you're gonna put the cable on top of the forearm. Now, which leg preference is entirely up to you? You wanna go a little further away from the plate, chest up, and you just wanna begin your movement. Now, we wanna emphasize the full dynamic movement using the cables. So keep the motion moving. And if you wanna intensify that, you can just go a little faster. So you can vary the intensity throughout the duration of the exercise. This is a standing shoulder press. This is the tricep kickback. So I'm gonna make sure my tension lever is all the way in. I'm gonna grab the handles. I'm gonna rotate my palms down. I'm gonna bring the elbows just close to my side of my body. Chest stays up. And all I'm gonna do is now, just with my lower arm, extend my wrist. I don't want a full arm movement, just from the elbows down. And I'm really concentrating on the tricep. Keeping the forearms up and keep the movement going. You can increase the intensity if you'd like by increasing the speed. You can always bring it back down. This is the tricep kickback. Keep those arms up. This is the bicep curl. So I'm gonna start by making sure that the tension lever is all the way in. I'm gonna grab the cable handle with each hand. We're gonna cozy up to the plate, keep our chest up, elbows tucked in, and we're gonna start the movement. Now the only movement comes from the lower half of the arm. I don't want any raising of the arms. Keep everything tight and just a flexion right here. We can intensify the movement by going a little faster if you like, but the main thing is just keep moving. So if you want those nice shapely arms, keep it going. This is the bicep curl. This is the quad massage. I'm gonna start by putting the pad back on the plate to make sure it's very comfortable for us. I'm gonna start with the back part of the plate where I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna make sure that I keep the pelvis area off and I'm gonna lower myself to just make sure that the quad stays on the plate the whole time. So I'm gonna reach back, I'm gonna put my settings in, I'm gonna hit start. Now I'm just gonna lower myself into position, making sure you just have the quads only on it, hips off, close the eyes and relax. This is the quad massage. This is the hamstring massage. So we're gonna start by actually sliding onto the aerobic step. We're gonna make sure we put our bum right up against the plate, but not on the plate. And all we're gonna do is lie back and relax. So I'm gonna get in position, I'm gonna hit repeat. I'm gonna slowly lower myself, hands across the chest, close the eyes and relax. This is the hamstring massage. This is the IT band massage. So I'm gonna make sure my hip is on the plate. I'm gonna stack my legs at a 45 degree and I'm gonna rest on my elbow. 
So once in this position, I'm gonna hit the repeat button, stay upright, and if I want, I can give a little love here with my hand. This is the IT band massage. That feels great. This is the piriformis massage. So I'm gonna get in position by stacking my legs at a 45 degrees, keeping my ankles on the plate. I'm gonna sit back into this elbow. I'm gonna reach over, hit my repeat button, and all I'm gonna do is pivot up onto my piriformis, which is my glute, and I'm just gonna hold that position. I'm just gonna rock back and forth, or I can just hold that. So self-massage, whatever feels good, go ahead and do that. This is the piriformis massage. Oh, that gets it.